So as a dog, you know, you get a little huffy sometimes when somebody accuses you of something. And as a dog, you internalize that. And it's like grief, you know, and it's hard on you. You know, it's a hard, you internalize that. And it, and it gnaws, it gnaws upon you. But me and the man, we got in this beef because we were coming home from a beautiful, beautiful golf course ride. Uh, the, the ride there was pleasant and beautiful. Beautiful. The spring air was dewy. It's dewy spring air, and I just couldn't wait to get off the cart and go racing after squirrels and rabbits. I was sprinting and running. For an old dog, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't really sprinting and running like the old days, but as a dog in my 15th year times seven, I was, you know, doing pretty good. I would have got the blue ribbon for that age category at the uh, Senior Olympics. Let me put it to you that way. But we, we had come home. We pulled up right in front of the manor house, and usually the man pulls the golf cart into the garage, or he pulls it back around to the one of the sheds. He just pulled it right in front of the porch, the main entrance, the main stairway up to the huge bandstand-esque porch. And we were going to walk. We were going to saunter through the front door, and I think we were going to have an evening cocktail out on the porch on the veranda, on the swing. Uh, but, anyways, <clears throat> just as we pulled up. The man, he looks down, he goes, ah, and he tries to hit the brake, and his foot kind of slides off the brake, and he runs right over a big dog turd, a big, squishy, fresh dog turd. And he says, dog, I told you, you don't crap right here. You have to go off into the weeds, up on the, you know, out on the, where the, no one could tell. You have to go out on the extremes of the property. And I said, I didn't do that. I wouldn't crap right there on the sidewalk, right in front of the main steps up to the manor house. I wouldn't, that's not me. He says, ah, bull crap, there ain't no other dogs around. I said, no. That that is a little brownish, you know, saddle brown kind of color, and that's that that's that uh, half a pit bull, that little that little son of a bitch, that half a pit bull who still has his balls, you know, you know the one I'm talking about. And the man didn't want to admit. He goes, "Oh, that's you. You you got too lazy. You just walked down off the porch. You took a crap." I said, I, and then the dog. I was like, "Hey, wait a minute, buddy. No, no. Look at me. I'm a black dog. I would have a black crap." That is a saddle-colored crap. That's that little pit bull who still has his balls. And the man said, well, what are you talking about? It's, dogs crap the color of themselves? And I said, uh, duh, yeah. Dogs crap the color of themselves. It's not my crap. I would have a black crap. I'd make black craps. Black dog makes black craps. White dog makes whitish craps. Yellow and brown dogs make yellow and brown craps. I mean, it's, you know, it's a given. It's undisputable. It's not open for discussion. And the man was, he staggered back and forth a little bit. He goes, wait a minute, are you telling me like a blue tick hound dog has a blue crap? And I said, hey, you know what? Yes, it's going to have a blue tint to it. There's no question. You know, it's a blue tick. It's going to have a blue crap. There's no, no question to, in my mind. There's no question whatsoever. This is a factual certitude. Okay, my friend? And that's not my crap. And the man, he kind of walked over and took his keys out. Like, I thought, you know, he must have oxygen deprivation injury because he starts trying to scrape out of the treads the dog crap out with his keys. And I, I was disgusted. I was like, man, you're making a stink even worse. You're stinking up the whole yard. You're stirring up the crap. And he looked up at me, and he was kind of pissed off. And I, and I was just like, listen, buddy, I'm just telling you the truth. That's the way it is. You know, if that was my crap, I would own up to it. But I don't crap right outside the door, okay? I walk way off into the weeds. I try to... Hold it till we get up on the golf course sometimes. I go out behind a mulberry bush, you know, where no one can see me and no one can see it. You know, I don't want flies flying all over, you know, the porch. I want to be able to enjoy, you know, social, a social interaction in the evening. So with you having a, a cocktail, you know, well, I'm not going to crap right there. He demanded to believe it. He still, he was very, he kind of, he had to go in and he tried to line a paper bag with some plastic Walmart bags and he was taking paper towels and trying to clean all the poop off his cart. It was really disgusting. And finally, because I'm not that smart, I'm only a dog, but I finally said, why don't you get a hose? You hook the hose up and spray it off. And the man pulled it out in the grass and he sprayed all that little pit bulls crap off his car. He still thought it was me, but I was, you know, I, I felt like saying, buddy, listen, it's the way it is, you know. It's very easy to identify. When you see a black crap, you know it's my crap, okay? If it ain't black, it ain't mine. But whatever. He was working on it, and I, I started to gaze off. I just started to gaze off in the distance and hope that the breeze would take away the dog crap smell that the yard was suffering from. <laughs>